We're going to get started in just a little bit. If you're just tapping in right now, you're going to um, actually get revealed some secrets that have been used by thousands to increase their credit score. Now, you know, that three, the credit score, that's that little three digit number that, you know, tells you if you can actually purchase that home or that car. Right. It tells you if you can actually get that job or it tells you if you can start that business and get funding for your business. Right. So. I just want to let y'all know that your credit score is not final. Okay. We're going to show you exactly some tips and tricks used by thousands, including the ultimate secret weapon. <laughs> That's going to help you increase your credit score. All right. So it looks like we are at six o'clock on the dot. Let's go ahead and get this started here for it for everybody. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Um, Savita, how are you? From Niagara Falls, New York. She says she's chiming in. Do appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, Michelle Hargrove tuning in from Wilmington, North Carolina. Thank you. Alicia also tapping in from Wilmington, North Carolina. Hey, I know you. Um, okay, we got Erica tapping in from Indy. Okay, I see y'all. Okay, and she's actually tagging some of her uh, friends. Uh, so what's up, uh, Lawrence? And um, Reese, how are you? Earl the Pearl, tap it in. What's going on, millionaire? He's tagging Nicole and uh, William, uh, Chris. Okay, okay. I see a lot of people here. Oh, and Tiffany. Hey, how are you? How are you? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I think we have enough people here to make this a party. <laughs> um, so, again, tonight we're going to learn uh, the secret used by thousands to increase a credit score. Uh, I think in credit score is, is super important because, um, you know, you're going to understand a little bit more about my personal story and everything, but everybody knows credit, credit is so important, but um, there's not a lot of resources. There's not a lot of education behind it. Uh, if you tapped on it in high school, then it was just a little bit, just letting you know how important it is, but they never really told you how to build it. Um, most people just think if you pay your bills on time, then that will improve your credit. That's false. <laughs> and I'll show you why just a little bit. But just quick five about myself. Again, my name is Jerry Goins, originally from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Moved to Wilmington, North Carolina in 2003. That's where I actually got my bachelor's in business and finance from UNCW. Uh, graduated there 2007. So yeah, telling my age there a little bit, right? But hey, I got the debt to prove it, you know? <laughs> a serial entrepreneur, that's true. Um, I remember selling candy. <laughs> in, in, in grade school, right? Who, who remembers doing that, right? Um, also mowing grass and things like that. Uh, it's just a lot of businesses that I've been involved in, but, uh, but now I have found my home in the credit and money business, helping people get the credit that they need and getting the money and the funding that they need. Uh, father, husband, blended family of seven. Yes, yes, yes. My wonderful wife. She's also a leader in the company. It's Alicia Goins. Uh, purchased first home thanks to this exact company, this exact secret that you're going to learn, which is Nove. Purchased my very first home thanks to this company. Now, it only took five months, y'all. I started in December. I was always running from this three digit number, man, because here I am, a college graduate, right? make myself feel good, you know, thought I was going to graduate and just have, you know, bukus of money just falling out because everybody's throwing money at me, trying to get me to work for them, right? And we all know that doesn't happen, you know? So ran up a lot of debt, banking on the money at the end. And when that didn't come, it just left me in debt, left me with a terrible credit score, couldn't purchase a house, you know, if, if my life depended on it. I uh, could barely get into an apartment, y'all. Y'all know how that is when your apartment searching and they're denying you and you're like, okay, well, I guess I gotta go to the next one. I guess I gotta go to the next one. I guess I gotta ask a friend, a family, somebody to co-sign. I guess I gotta live on a couch. I guess I gotta live in somebody's you know, house, have roommates, things like that. And things change when you start to have a family. Now you have people that are depending on you and mouths to feed, okay? Somebody put mouths to feed in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. And that right there just elevated me to make me say, hey, you know what? I need to go ahead and attack this credit score. Um, I started my services with Nove that December and by May, we were moved by, excuse me, by April, end of April, we were moving in. Whew, 
mm, mm, mm. as I still remember the the selfie I took of the apartment complex, right? I took a selfie like this, and I was like signing out in the U-Haul and everything, you know. And I mean that that might be you know nice to hear to somebody, you know, right? But there might be somebody else that is seriously desperate for some, for change, and they need to understand that there is possibility out here for you because your credit score is not final. Okay, that means we can change that. All right. All right. So, um, oh, shout out to Ingrab coming on in. Appreciate you. So let's go ahead and get into it. The innovative solution that you're here tonight to discuss, that we're here tonight to discuss, and you're here to learn about, which is Nove. Okay. We inspire people to want more out of life, right? I hope just that story right there just made you want to stand up and say, you know what? If he can do it, I can do it too. You know, we want to educate you on ways to go about it. So that's exactly what we're doing tonight is educating you, get, get, getting, giving you all the information that you're going to need. Okay, so at the end of this, you should have 100% of the correct information that you need to make a good decision. But we also give you the opportunity to make it happen. There's nothing worse than, than education on ice. Okay, ignorance on fire will always beat education on ice. <laughs> okay, so if you know what I mean, I, I'm not going to go too deep into that, right? So here's the pillars that we build our company on personal credit, business credit and funding, real estate investing. Um, we have an income opportunity. And most recently, we've added consumer financing, which is huge. We're actually the first uh, Black-owned fintech company to offer consumer financing to the masses. All right. So something to be very proud of. And we're happy to work with everybody who needs it. So let's get into the educational piece here. Now, don't start tuning out. I know we had fun, you know, you know, made you feel warm and fuzzy. And now here comes the information. Don't start tuning out. This is what you need to know so you can pass on to your loved ones, pass on to your family members, to your friends and everybody that needs this kind of information, all right? So millions of people are struggling financially. We already know that. 2.5 million people seek debt counseling each year to avoid bankruptcy. That's according to money.msn.com. 43 million people have a 599 or less uh, credit score. And that's according to credit.com. I was just telling one of our new affiliates this, and even they didn't believe it. Even after they have signed on to offer this service to everyone else, they were like 43 million people. Well, that's usually the selling point <laughs> to say like, hey, you should know somebody that needs better credit. But why is it this way? Why so many people? More than 25% of Americans have no savings and about 49% of them have no retirement. That's according to money.cnn.com. That's scary stuff, y'all. A substantial number of adults in the United States from age 21 to 62 suffering anxiety about personal finances due to the onset of the pandemic and lack of financial literacy and financial security. Okay, that's according to the National Financial Cap uh, Capability Study by the FINRA. So that's a financial institution and that's what they do. They study uh, what people's moods are about money. So this is saying a substantial amount that that means greater than just a less than a majority, but greater than a, a minority of people. OK, so 50 percent of businesses are failing within their first five years, mainly due to lack of access to capital. Now, a lot of people might want to blame the business and say, oh, their products weren't good. But everybody knows there's business out here thriving with terrible products and terrible customer service. OK, so you can't blame that. You can't blame management of the company. You can't blame the location. You can't blame anything else except for lack of access to capital, because usually if businesses have the right money, then they can stay in business long enough to figure it out. OK, you got to stay in business long enough to figure it out. And that's why we got into the business funding uh, arena as well, because everybody's getting help with their credit to help fund their business. But if their business doesn't have credit, then their business is going to fail. So we are truly an all in all one stop shop to help people with their money. Unemployment has ro has rose to its highest levels more than 14 million since the Great Depression. Wow. 14 million levels since the Great Depression and the Great Recession. That's according to Pew Research Center. So that's huge, y'all. Um, and I'll get into that part of the income opportunity. I want to show y'all just a little bit about that at the very end. So stay tuned, okay? So what's the solution? It all starts with great credit education. 
All right. So let's dive into it. If you want to take notes, now is a great time to go ahead and take notes. OK, so number one, payment history that accounts for 35 percent of your credit score or about 192 points. So basically what that looks at is how often are you paying on time? OK, so if you had if you only have one credit card and you can pay, you know, 12 times in one year and you pay 100 percent of that time, then you're going to get all of those points if you paid on time. 192 points, okay? Now, let's say you only pay uh, six months on time. Well, you're not gonna get all your points. You won't exactly get half your points because you know that's just part of the, the formula that goes into it. But can you imagine just losing 90 points just because you didn't pay your credit card bill on time? And see, this is where, what, where we start to separate between people that say, oh, just pay your bills on time and you'll have great credit. Well, even if you did pay your bills all the way on time, you only got 192 points from it. Remember, everybody starts off at a 500. So this right here just lets, excuse me, everybody starts off at a 300. 300. So this just lets you know, if you start off at a 300 and you add 192, well, you're still knocking, you're still below the 599, you know? So this just lets you know, if you, even if you pay your bills all the way on time, you still can have a bad credit score because there's other things that go into it, including credit utilization. 30% or about 165 points go to credit utilization. Now, what is that? That's a long, that's a big word. That's a lot of syllables in there. Utilization. Okay. So what this means is, is looking at how much of your credit are you actually using? Are you depending on credit? Okay, are you depending on credit to live? Are you maxing out all of your credit cards? Okay, because if you are, then you, you're gonna look very um, financially unstable to the lenders and it's gonna hurt your score. So I always liken this to the dash on your car. So next time you get into your car, I want you to look at how fast can this car go according to the, the dashboard, right? According to the dashboard. Now, your car might say, you know, 200 miles per hour, but everybody knows if you just get in that car and you just push it 200 miles per hour, you won't be driving very long, okay? You're going to get a car, you're going to get a ticket, and you're going to get taxed and fined, right? And that's exactly what happens when you max out your credit card. Just because it says you, can, you have a $3,000 limit, don't use all 3,000 of it. You're going to get taxed. You're going to get fined, okay? So that's how I like to think about it. And that gives you 165 points. Age of credit is the next thing that goes into your credit score. So when we look at the age of your credit, my, my, what, do, what do you mean by that? Well, it just means like if you had a card for the last 10 years, then that looks really, really good on your credit because you have some, your, your credit, your overall credit age is 10 years. That's where you start getting into the 800 credit score. And you start maxing out the points for, uh, for this uh, right here, which is 15% of your credit score or about 82 points. So with this, let's say, and this is why um, new credit is, is, is not a great thing, okay? So new credit just means that, hey, I got a new credit card coming in. Now, when you get a new credit card and you had a credit card that was 10 years old, the average age of your credit is now five years instead of 10 because at 10 and then the one month, right? You just got that credit card. So it's only reporting for one month. The average is right there in the middle. So now your credit age drops down to five. So that's why when some people, sometimes when people get new cards or they get a new loan or they get something on their, um, on their credit report, their credit cards, their score drops. And they're always calling me up, Jerry, what happened? I just got something new. Well, it's because now your average age has fallen. And the only real, real way to balance that out is to never close old accounts. Put that in the comment section for me. Never close cards. Never close cards. Always keep them open and always just use a little bit of it. Maybe just use it as a gas card. Okay, maybe this month I'm gonna use this card as a gas card. Next month I'll put that down. I'll use this card next as a gas card. Pay it off. Okay, so that way you're not building up interest. But that's what age of credit is. Let's look at credit mix. Now there's different kinds of credit. Yes, different kinds of credit. There's about four different kinds of credit. The most two famous ones are installment credit and revolving credit. Installment credit is what you get whenever you purchase a home or whenever you purchase a car. 
because you pay the loan off in installment payments until it's completely paid off. There's a plan, there's a start, and there's an end, okay, on installment debt. You want to have that because that looks good for your credit mix. So if you don't have a car note, don't have a house note, don't have a personal loan, we have solutions that can actually start to add to your credit mix so you can actually see one of these loans. Now, the next thing is revolving debt. Revolving debt is that credit card, okay? Uh, or store accounts. So if you have an old Navy card or credit at uh, one of these trade lines, right? What that means is you're given the money, you can actually make payments on it, but every payment that you make, it replenishes your money that's available. So it never really ends. It just keeps going. It's a re like a revolving door, okay? So you want to have multiple things. And if you don't have a credit card, don't have a store account, and you just have a car note, for example, this might be something that you need to do is mix it up a little bit. Okay, mix it up. <laughs> All right, and that's 55 points, about 10%. The last thing is new credit. So these, this is where your inquiries come into play. Okay, as you can see on this little chart over here, inquiries, three inquiries right here. And it's got, it's got a little red flag beside this little... Uh, a graphic right here, as you can tell. You know, like three, you only apply for credit three places. Well, inquiries stay on your report for up two years or more. But what it looks like is, is that you're consistently looking to open new accounts and that looks unstable. Imagine if you're the lender, okay? When you wanna know that somebody just came to you after going to John, Joe and Sally to try to get money and now they're coming to you to try to get money, right? When you say, I ain't giving you no money, you, you, you too thirsty right now, right? <laughs> well, to keep your inquiries down, you want to only inquire every, at least like once or twice a year. Spread it out six months if you really need to get a new card. And especially if you're getting ready to make a new purchase, a big purchase like a mortgage or a car, you don't want to have any, you don't want to inquire at all. Any credit cards, anything that asks for your social, you want to say, nope, trying to buy a house. Nope, trying to buy a car. OK, and that's going to help you get to that. So you start off at a 300, you add 550 points. That gives you a, a perfect score of 850. And we do have people with a perfect score of 850 thanks to this education. All right. So I hope that's helpful for some people. But that alone is, is, is hard for a lot of people. So we have three options. OK, we call it Nove Money. And we're going to help you restore and build credit. We're going to help you eliminate debt very quickly. And we're going to help you track your progress. Nothing can get better unless it gets measured. Okay. If you're not measuring something, it will never get better because you'll know where you are. So let's look at these options here. You got the Nobe Money DIY kit. All right. It's only 50 bucks one time. So we're talking about an informative ebook. It's going to be very easy to follow. 28 total let letter templates. We have the student loan information, bankruptcy information, inquiry letters, how to get those off, how to uh, write collection letters, uh, how to respond to collection letters, how to write goodwill letters, paid removals. So that way you can pay and make sure that they get it, get, they, they're actually taking off the item on your credit report. How many people know to never pay collections? Well, you might be saying, why? They're, they're threatening me, Jerry. They're saying they're going to take me to court and everything, right? That's why you need us on your corner. You need us on your side because we'll actually help you all the way through, all right? Nobody Money Basic is the next one. This is what I started off on. You know, it's 209 to get started and only 59 bucks a month. 59 bucks a month? That's incredible, y'all, okay? Because we figured out that we're not trying to break the bank here with knowing that when we're talking about personal credit, you already have bills. You're probably already up to your eyeballs in debt. We don't want to add extra bills on top of you. So we've made our system super streamlined to be super effective and super affordable. And nobody else can do this. Nobody else is doing this because they haven't developed the technology that we've been working on over the last seven years, okay? To do this, so you're going to get an online budgeting tool, a debt elimination software, you're going to get a financial wealth guide, three monthly bureau, three school reports. Okay, that's worth 25 bucks alone by itself every month. Nove smart credit monitoring, 
credit building resources, text and email alerts, credit score tracker, a credit score builder, um, a credit score master simulator, which is awesome because it tells you if you pay off this card, your score is going to go up to here. You can actually drag this little slider to say, hey, if I want a 700 credit score, I need, and it tells you what bill, what uh, cards you need to pay off and in what order. It's, it's genius. It really puts you in control of your score. You're going to get identity theft protection and a million dollars in fraud insurance because there's no reason to get a better score and lose it because someone stole it. <laughs> okay. And Obey Money Premium, this is where I, I personally am now. So you're going to get everything that you have in Obey Money um, basic, but you're also going to get a personal account manager, access to the credit and debt collection attorneys. Okay, so that's what you need if you have somebody that keeps on harassing you, calling you, mailing you, uh, showing up at your job, <laughs> right, asking you to pay them. And you didn't even, maybe you didn't even start the loan with these guys. You don't owe them anything, but it's on your credit report. How do you get it off? Sometimes you need an attorney. And without us, you're stuck paying 500 plus up to $5,000 to hire an attorney. But with us, it's only $239 and $89 a month. Okay, we also send out non-dispute letters. You can request these up to three non-dispute letters every month, like the goodwill letters. Okay, that's a $75 a month value just for those letters by themselves. All right. So in this case, I want to go ahead and uh, get one of our uh, live testimonials going. Uh, this gentleman right here, I met this guy and I, I was just blown away by his work ethic, but I was also blown away by his testimonial. You know, it, it just seems like, you know, somebody who, you know, is a, you know, a father and a family man like him wouldn't even have time to kind of dive in and, and do the things that he's done. But uh, Mr. Corey Hester, are you on the line? Yeah, I'm here on the line, Jerry. All right, we can hear you loud and clear. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you personally have been impacted by Nove and what it's been able to do for you and your family and where you are now? With you? Okay, uh, well, you know, the great thing about Nove is, you know, they, they teach you about credit and how credit works, you know, and that's the one thing I love. This is something we never learned as kids. Uh, like currently, I have like $39,000, $40,000 in credit. And, you know, uh, I keep it under the 30%. You know, I get nervous when it hits 2%, you know, but just the whole financial freedom of being able to up and go whenever I want to go. If I want to go out of town, I can go. I borrow from myself. As long as I'm keeping it under that 30%, uh, you know, it's just amazing uh, being able to have, you know, credit. You know, it's an amazing thing. It's, it's way better than having cash. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people think cash is king, but really credit is king. Uh, whenever I want to go on trips, whenever I want to go out to eat, I can go, you know, as long as I'm under that percent limit and I'm keeping that hundred percent payment, you know, it's, it's bomb. Awesome. Awesome. We definitely appreciate that. Uh, how, can you tell us, uh, what, how Nove has helped you, um, you know, with your personal credit journey? That's, so, like, uh, you know, with the whole budgeting tool, uh, okay. being able to budget out my bills throughout the week, you know, I open up a spreadsheet every two weeks just to make sure, you know, everything is paid up right. And uh, I'll put, like, on some of my uh, credit cards, I'll just put, like, one bill on it and just let it go. And I have automatic payments come out of it. You know, and just learning all these uh, techniques and tricks from Nove, you know, has made it, yeah, has made it easy for me. Awesome. Awesome. I really appreciate that. I don't think very many people uh, understand that budgeting tool and how important that is and how easy it is to use, because that's the most reason why people don't budget is because it's difficult and it takes so much time. <laughs> but with this tool, it makes it easy. So that's awesome. All right. Well, thank you so that's much, right. Mr. Hester from Indy. <laughs> anytime, anytime, Jerry. All right. Take it easy. I'll, I'll get up with you after this. Okay. All right, Mr. Goins. You got it. Take care. All right. All right. And here you can actually see uh, Mr. Uh, Hester, what he's been able to do in his score. Um, currently, the last time we checked in on him, he was up 36 points. So he's in the 700 club right now. And as you can tell, he wasn't lying. He said, when I get this 20% of utilization rate, I start sweating, okay? Kind of like I'm doing now. Am I sweating? Okay, anyway, he's right here at 14, 
um, percent. And that's one of the things that we teach. So not only do we help you with the education, but we help you to actually be held accountable. Okay, now you have a community of people helping to hold you accountable uh, to help you make sure that you're doing the right things that you need for your credit score because we're watching you. You know, we're here. To, we're here to hold your hand. We're here to encourage you. Right? That's all important. And look at all these other testimonials. I mean, look at this. You got uh, collections removed. You got Navient. How many people have Navient on their credit reports? And they're trying to get that off. You know, look at over here. Just tw uh, up 22 points just from. Uh, one collection being removed and then reducing one of the balances. So th these are things right here that you can just Google no Bay money reviews and you'll see everything that we're talking about. All right. Matter of fact, no Bay money works.com. You can do, you can go there and you'll see hundreds of testimonials. And this is how you're going to roll as a customer. You're going to go to the website or the link that they sent you. Just going to click on personal services and then no Bay money. Scroll towards the bottom here, and you'll see the different options that you have to join the Nobe Basic, uh, and you have the Nobe Premium. All right, so then you want to choose which option that you want. You can even book a consultation for twenty nine bucks if you want, uh, and then you're going to be taken to um, the next screen, which is going to actually show you uh, the product again. You just want to add it to the cart, and then you want to check out. All right. And once you check out, this is where you start to put in your information so we know who you are and we can start to uh, enroll you into the program. OK, so now you want to go ahead and just uh, hit the little check box that says I accept and submit and uh, enter your payment details and you're in. And we just want to be the first to say welcome to Nove and the financial future that you truly deserve.